Okay. Well, here we are trying to make a foundation, piece of foundation with a foundation wax mold. Now this is going to be the third time I've tried. This was the first attempt right here. Really not too bad. That's the first time. Now I've pop riveted them together here and here and I'm going to try it doing that. First I'm going to wet it a little bit, make sure it's wet enough. I'm not sure if you have to do that, but that's what it says to do. Shake out the excess water. Sit down. Now I riveted it because it's hard to keep them just right, and I was trying to get them exactly right so the cells would match up on each side. All right. I'm going to get some hot wax here. The wax is pretty hot. I don't know exactly the temperature, but I'd say it's... Uh, Probably 180, 190 anyway, right up there. All right. Here's the wax. And give it a try. I know you got to put a lot in. There you go. And that looks pretty good. It's kind of a trick to this. Getting it just right. Now I'll try to cool it off a little bit. Yeah, normally you'd wait a minute or two, I believe. Get it going quick for the video. And let's see what we got here. Right. Well, could be better. But not too bad for. This will be the third time. You really have to put a lot of wax in there. I'm trying to make this for another purpose, for Kenyan top bar foundation strips, which a lot of people know. They don't say you don't need them, which may be so, but I'm going to try it anyway. I've had good luck with them before. So, this is what we've got here. That's not too bad. And for the third time, I think... Uh, I think you could probably get pretty good at this, a little practice. Got a few holes in it, but... Not bad. Okay, that's it.